Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video, today we're following up the previous episode with a brand new one. If you didn't know, I have a series about editing tutorials and today we're talking about color grading in that series. Now details about the series are all in the description down below, feel free to check it out if you need to. However, today's video is a nice one. We're starting to get into the fun part of editing. As a matter of fact, today's video is gonna be discussing, as you can tell by the title, color grading. And it's such an overlooked topic by beginners. However, experts do know how important the color grading is. Now personally, I've been making gaming videos, so I haven't necessarily dug that deep into it. However, today I'm gonna teach you the basics that I know and the basics that have got me through all the way up to this point. Let's get started. So starting off, I gotta tell you that this video is gonna be split into two separate parts. The first one, I'm gonna be telling you what color grading is, I'm gonna be talking a bit about it, and where you could do it. However, the second part is where the fun stuff begins. In the second part, I'm gonna be showing you a couple really, really nice effects. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do them, and how you could use them in different edits. Now before we get into this, keep in mind that color grading can either make or break an edit. So hopefully this video could help you. But for now, let me tell you about color grading. So color grading is split into two separate categories. The first one being color correction, the second one being color grading. If you didn't know, when you record things on the camera or when you record footage in real life, the, the video displayed from the camera does not look the same as real life. That's where color correction comes in. Using color correction, you can tweak and correct different values and graphs to make your footage look like real life. Now it may sound complicated, but there's a lot of YouTube videos that go over this. I personally will not be going over this since I make gaming videos. And if you record any footage on your PC, then you don't need to worry about color correction since you're gonna be recording exactly what you see on the screen. However, the second category, color grading, it's an important one. Color grading in the simplest way possible is making your footage look a lot nicer than it actually is and a lot more viewable to the human eye. You'll see what I mean when we get into this tutorial, but color grading, it's an important thing. So don't overlook it. So first thing I'm gonna go ahead and drag in different clips to show you different effects. For today I'm gonna be dragging in four different clips. So I've got my clips over here, now I'm just gonna drag them into our timeline and I'm gonna make them a lot smaller. I'll time lapse this part so you don't have to worry about waiting. Alright, so now that I have my four different clips, let's just get straight into it. So the way you color grade in DaVinci Resolve, there's two separate ways. If you're gonna want to apply these effects, we're gonna be using Fusion, but if we're just looking for a simple, nice color grade, then we're gonna be using our color grade tab. Now what you see in front of you may look complex, as a matter of fact, I don't even know three quarters of this. We only need this part over here. Over here we've got our curves graph, this is gonna be used to change some details in our clips. And on the left over here we have our color wheels, these are also gonna affect our clip. So I'm watching through this Apex clip, and I'm like, you know what, let this could use some contrast. So let me show you the number one simplest color grade in the entire world, yet the most useful one. This, is, As a matter of fact, this is extremely useful for montages when you don't want to spend time color grading. As you can see over here, you've got your curves graph. If I click on this line, it places a point, and if I move it down, it makes the clip darker. If I move it up, it makes it lighter, which is where the name comes from. This color grade is called the S color grade, or the S graph. You want to make a nice and simple S by dragging both ends to either direction to bring out the darks and lighten up the lights. So as you can see, I'm just going to place this like here. I'm going to make this maybe a tiny bit lighter. And you can already see this clip looks a lot better than before. And if we simply just go back and play it, it does genuinely look a lot nicer. Now I went a bit hard on the color grade, maybe I should have gone a bit lighter. But as you could see, like when the hands come out for the firing, they look a lot more vibrant and bright, which is what we like. And that's pretty much everything that we need to talk about about color grading. And you know what? Enough boring shit. Let's just get straight into the effects. Now making these effects is a bit different. It's something that I haven't taught yet. But when I do get to teaching it, this will be a lot simpler than you think. But for now, let me just show you how it's done. Now to our first effect, it's just going to be saturation and contrast. So, go ahead and select your clip, and go down to the Fusion tab in DaVinci. You may have heard of this, this is where you animate everything. However, we don't need to animate everything here, we just need a specific node. These are called nodes, and just don't worry about whatever you see. This is basically the playhead where you could see everything that's happening. Now to this clip, I want to make it look a bit more saturated, and a bit more, you know, better looking. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this media end node over here and you're gonna press shift space and you're gonna type color corrector and you're gonna see color corrector over there. Just click on add and it will add this. Select the color corrector and now we can change a bunch of different settings. The reason I use this and not the color grade tab is because this makes it a lot simpler and it's a lot easier to use. So what I'm gonna do over here is as you can see, we have saturation. I'm just gonna bump the saturation a bit and then maybe add a bit of contrast to it. You push the contrast just a bit more and we'll just watch through it. Let's see how it looks. It does look significantly better. All the colors are more vibrant. The lighting around different neon lights looks a lot nicer as you can see over there and over there. This already looks a lot better. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do to this clip. And we'll just replay through it. And look at when she takes out the rockets. This does look significantly better. Look at those colors, man. This this is this is very sick. Now that's our first effect done. The rest of these are pretty much gonna be Mimi effects. Now, here's the first one. I'm gonna select this Doom clip and I'm gonna go into the Fusion tab. Now I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna select Media and I'm gonna add in the color corrector and I'm gonna select the color corrector. Now this effect is meant to make the clip look sad but in a funny way. You'll see what I mean when I apply this effect. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna select the color corrector. We're gonna add a tiny bit of contrast just to make this spice up a bit. And then we're gonna drop the saturation all the way down. And as you can see, that makes our clip black and white. That makes it look kinda, kinda sad, I can't lie. And that's pretty much the effect. But what's funny is this works perfectly fine with sound effects. I'm gonna add a sad song in the background and I'll let you be the judge. Anyway, that's that and make sure to use these in the video if you feel like it. But let's move on to our next effect. For the next effect, this is gonna be a bit more complex, but uh, let's just call it uh, the crackhead for now. I'm gonna go in to the fusion tab again. We're gonna add in the color corrector. And you can see this hue slider over here. And, when I, and whenever I move it around, look what happens to the clip. It changes the color values, which can be really nice if you know how keyframes work. So if you don't know how keyframes work, I will explain this in a few further video. But what you could do is you could use the hue tab to change around with the colors and mess around with them. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you something a bit more advanced that, that you are going to understand if you watch a bit more episodes where I talk about keyframing and the spline. So let me show it. I'll place a keyframe over here. Alright, I've made longer and let's just watch through it. Now that's it for this effect, let's move on to the final one. Now this last effect, it's uh, it's actually the funniest one we have so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the bonk effect. I'm selecting a clip, going over to the fusion tab, and adding the color corrector as usual. Now from here, I'm going for that kind of oversaturated, over contrasted meme look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump the saturation all the way up. I'm gonna bump the contrast all the way up and you can already tell what kind of effect this is gonna be. So if we watch through it, this is literal eye torture, but it's gonna be funny once we add the sound effect in. So here's my sound effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it over to here. It's a bass boosted sound effect and I'm just gonna wait until I score a goal. Over here it says level 57 scored. I'll put the bass boosted sound effect right there and uh, see for yourself. that's it for this video hopefully you liked it and hopefully you enjoyed it and most importantly hopefully you you now know how to make these effects because these are gonna help your edits a lot so one last time let's just go ahead and go over them the first effect being the beautiful contrast and saturation second effect being the sad one third effect being the hue one and the fourth one being the oversaturated goal anyway that's it for now hopefully you enjoyed if you did enjoy this video make sure to like it down below so that more people see it and next episode is going to be really fun, so stick around for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.